Hey guys, it's Gio from Microsoft of Florida International University, and today is December 31st, 2013. It's 3.18 p.m., a little late. Nevertheless, we're going to get into this and handle some business. So, this project is called Construct2 Behaviors Bound to Layout, which means I'm going to be showing you guys the bound to layout behavior in this video. So, I've already taken some precautions. My window size is 1366 by 768, same as my project. I've made a player sprite, right? And I've also added a keyboard object. Now on the event sheet, I've just implemented some logic that allows me to move in the direction I'd like to move in. If you'd like to see some more of this, you should you can just download the project from the SkyDrive. So here's my player, here's my layout, right? So I've added a behavior called bound to layout which is what I'm talking about. So if you want to be able to do that, all you do is just, I'm deleting it because it makes no difference, but all you do is you click the plus button, right? And you go to general, click add bound layout. That's it. You have it. It's that simple. So you're probably wondering, what does it do? And I'll show you and explain at the same time. The bound to layout behavior makes an object um, confined within the screen. So you cannot leave the screen if you have the bound to layout behavior. It just forbids you from exiting the screen. And that's a very useful thing when you're playing a space shooter or a platformer or, you know, even a bullet hell. There's so many types of games you can use where you limit someone to the layout. And the bound to layout behavior is extremely efficient for this. So you can imagine the scenario right now, like let's say I'm playing, playing Galaga or something, and I'm shooting at my enemies, and I'm trying to back up, but I can't get out of the screen because that would be very cheap, and I'm going down, I'm going up, but I can't get out of the screen because I'm limited. So the bound layout has its own you know, purpose, and it has its own positives and negatives, but that's how it works. So I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.